Nancy and the Meerkats. Bonjour. This is our new track. On the podcast. Nancy and the Meerkats. Merci. <laughs> Nancy and the meerkats are having to drive through the night to get to the next stop on their tour in time. The girls think it's exciting, but Big Joe is struggling to stay awake at the wheel. <sighs> oh, heck, Nancy, could you give me my coffee? I'm struggling to keep my eyes open here. We haven't any coffee on the bus, Joe. Would Amiti Chu help? <clears throat> I always find they wake me up. Tripe and gizzard, my favourite. Um, no thanks, Nancy. I'll stick to the coffee. It's over there in my thermos. Thermos? What's one of them? It's the tin flask thing. There, ne- next to my man bag. Oh, I see. Yes, let me pour you a cup. Wow. This coffee is steaming hot, but we've been on the road for hours. How does it work? Is it battery powered? Oh, phew, that is better. No. No batteries needed, Nancy. Thermos flasks are a brilliant invention. The trick is that there is a smaller bottle inside the larger one. The air between the two is taken away, which makes it hard for the heat to travel out of the drink. A guy called Sir James Dewar came up with the idea. He was a professor at Cambridge University. Ah, so he was super clever. You see, if I was super clever, I could come up with cool inventions too. Being clever isn't always enough, you know. (sighs) It's no good. We've got to stop, girls. I'm falling off my perch here. The band pull into the services for more coffee for Big Joe and a few snacks for the girls. There's a reason why it's called a thermos flask, not a Dewar flask, Nancy. Dewar might have had a brain the size of Birmingham, but he didn't get around to patenting the invention or applying for a trademark to protect the name of the flask, which is kind of stupid, really. Oh no! So Thermos owns the patent and the trademark and can make loads of money from it. You got it. So there's a lesson there, girls. If you get a cracking idea, you need to protect it or someone else might make a success of it. Oh yes! Like when I invented the humbone. Do you remember? That amazing new instrument. I drew loads of pictures of it, but that dastardly devil Kitty Perry stole all my plans. Yeah, well, we never did get around to patenting it, did we, Nancy? Oh, well, to be brutally honest, I don't think it's quite different enough from instruments that already exist. Even Kitty Perry's going to struggle to make a success of that one. How dare you! It was a work of genius! Even if it did look, well, pretty much like a recorder, actually. (laughs) Okay, maybe Kitty Perry is welcome to it. That's the spirit. You concentrate on what you're good at. Being the most devastatingly desirable diva dog. Well, I was going to say singing, but what the heck, that too. Nancy and the Meerkats with support from the Intellectual Property Office.